everyone. I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on machine learning and data science terminology series. In this video, you look at term boosting. Boosting is another technique of another ensemble technique where we try to create a strong classifiers by a bunch of classifiers, a group of classifiers. Right. In boosting, uh, we call it as building a strong model by using weak model in a in a series so i would say in series so we give the data the train data and uh, this is model one and the output of the model one is fed to model two so model two learns from the mistakes of model one to be put in a very simple manner and then the model three actually learns from the mistakes of model two and keep on going it and finally whatever model you're building let's say model 5 is actually learning from all of these models for example okay right so boosting technique are very powerful because you are using the uh, you're actually benefiting from the learnings from the previous model and you can have any number of models as uh, until it makes sense when the model accuracy is not improving anymore, then we say, okay, that is uh, that is good enough number of models. There are a lot of implementation of boosting techniques. In fact, um, uh, slightly we call it gradient boosting techniques. There is a gradient boosting technique which implements boosting idea with a gradient by by taking a percentage of um, the errors. Okay, and uh, a popular uh, boosting techniques we know, which which is kind of like very popular. In fact, all of your, most of your Kaggle projects or even most of the production projects we do, we use XC Boost, Extreme Gradient XGB Boosting is actually a boosting technique. We also have uh, Ada Boost. We have uh, recently a Light Gradient Boosting or LG Boost. We have CAD Boost. These are variations of your boosting techniques. And in, in practice, boosting techniques are actually kind of ruling the market, means they are faster, more accurate, and kind of fits most of the purposes uh, we need for both classification as well as regression, okay? So just to summarize, boosting does things in series, build a multiple model in series, series and uh, every model learns from the previous model. The contrasting term bagging, it's another technique, also an ensemble technique. So boosting is an ensemble technique, means it uses many, many models together. Bagging does the same thing, but in C, in, in parallel. So bagging does it in parallel. This is data and bagging does it in parallel and you take uh, some kind of majority vote or the average based on whether it's classification or regression, whereas boosting does it in, in series like this. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, uh, you like the initiative of terminology, um, you know, explaining the terminologies, please subscribe the channel and click the notification button. I'll see you in the next video.